Now, this <laughs> to me is spectacular. And when you know what you're looking at here, it's it's so beyond that you just can't even imagine. This right here, oops, right up here. Okay, this right in this area is where the um, the venturi slit is. And what a venturi slit is is um, let me see if I can back this out here. The venturi slit is where light passes through a little tiny slot. But it's not just a little break and, and it's a little flat thing and it passes right through there. It's a venturi and the way uh, Rodney Warren did this is he took two nails side by side and because of the structure, the round cylindrical nature of the structure of the nail, as it pinched into the slot, it created what's called a venturi. And, you know, just look it up. It's, a very, it's a totally understood. And what happens in a venturi is whatever is cre pushed into that venturi has to accelerate. There's no, it's, it's, it has to, there's no other way. So what happens is the light, instead of being red, it comes out of the venturi, brilliant white, and in chaos, and in total chaos. And you can see these particulates here, and if you look at them microscopically, or very close, and I'm going to show you that closer in a second, you'll see exactly what I'm saying. These are supposed to be spinning plates, like, see these discs out here? They're supposed to be spinning in a nice circular forward little curly Q thing going down here. Well, when they come through here, they, they're not coming through as plates. They're coming through smashing each other and just, like, like just total chaos, absolute havoc. When it comes out of this slot, and I will show you very closely why I'm saying this. Now, pay attention to this. You see this? It creates this angular pattern here, and this angular pattern here. It's coming out of the slot just like this. Now, there's more... It, you know, you can only get it. He's so close, and, and Rodney's got it just almost dead on, but there's a little more come in this direction but as you see it's got to it's got to slow down this is what's called cherryanko radiation and they use it in nuclear power plants to slow down the, the escaping particles in heavy water and they it glows very very glowy like this now so now what does that happen well it's coming into back into unrestricted space and it has to slow down as it's slowing down the chaos starts to get a little less a little less and then the plates start to show up and at a certain point you're back into your reds from the white and it happens right here <laughs> now you've got some purples going off here that is also coming down from from the white and and it appears to be, and I'm sure it is, it's distance related from the source of the compression and the source of the acceleration. So, from here out to here, and look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? That is just incredible. And now the plates start to, to form back into what they're supposed to be. I see no other possibility. I see nothing else that, to, that can possibly explain this. Uh, and he's, he, this is recreatable. He's done this over and over and over. This is not something he has, can't do again. You know, he's got to dig around. I'm sure it's not something he can just snap his fingers and they pop up. But uh, what he's doing is he's taking videos of these uh, um, experiments he's doing. And then he's going back and scrutinizing the frames. And if you pick up the exact spot in an exact way, he's coming up with things that, uh, you know, literally nobody can explain. Nobody. And he's got an anomalies that I'm not even going to talk about because I got this, they're like dimensional things in fabrics. And I could, <laughs> that's something that's on his own. He's out there with himself on that one because they're so unbelievable. But they're there. There's no question they're there. So what do you say? You can't just say, well, they're there and have a nice day, go home and eat lunch. No, you got to look at it. And that's what Rodney's doing. So he's digging deep and he's finding things that are just absolutely phenomenal. And the things that he is passing along to me support everything that I've been saying and there is no other way for me to support this other than the things that he's presenting to me because I'm just guessing at my thoughts but they, they seem to make sense to me a vortex theory but I can't prove it without this kind of proof and I, we need more people to look at this MIT or somebody that's deeply involved in this research to to either validate it or just say things go crazy but I when you see what we're seeing <laughs> And you got the same eyes I've got. I could just, just, 
I, where do you go from here? That just didn't pop out of nowhere. That is somewhere, something happened here, and it's absolutely 100% no question related to what Rodney did. So, I'd like to have somebody explain it to me. If that isn't, if that isn't light, and light doesn't react like a liquid, I, I need to have somebody explain to me why, why that's not true. Now, let me show you the chaos I'm talking about here very closely. Hold on a second, you make us sick. <laughs> Now, look down here at these particles coming through here. you got to get real close and look. And think real close. Open up your mind. Now, the, every, you see them? They're all the little discrete particles. Now, look, if you look very, very, very carefully, you can see their the little curls and hooks and spins and, and little things like you see on these... Um, particle accelerators, uh, proton accelerators, they, they show you uh, CERN and all that business. And then, and then they, they're little circles, and so that's the eddies, and they're not even round at this point, they're in total chaos. They're like, they're, I, I know you can't see this, I'm not going to have a real hard time. But, take my word for it, and, and you can download this picture. Uh, I go to Question Everything on Facebook. Question Everything is the name of the page, uh, a group. And, you know, go in there, sign up, check it out, because they're riding, I got a lot of stuff on there about this. And, and, and it's, it is what it is. I, nobody's going to turn us away from this, because it's not, you can't be turned away. What are you going to say? This is not real? What it is, is something. Now, maybe it's nothing, but to me, it looks like something, and it exactly, exactly fits the vortex theory. So, that's what we got.